Hey kids, Grandpa here. How you guys doing today? Well, I wanted to do an update. I figure it's time. It's uh, January 16th and I haven't given an update on my channel and so I thought it was time. I'm, I'm way behind in putting up a video and some things are going on that kind of precipitated this to make me want to put a video out very quickly. So let me first start by giving everybody a little bit of a quick history lesson. I am a man of two passions. I like sailing and I like homesteading and farming. Uh, I was very close to buying a sailboat and, and sailing off, um, but reconnecting with my family and my grandkids telling me they want me around and stuff kind of pulled me in that direction. And so I have decided to return here to Ohio to uh, restart my real estate career in Ohio as a real estate agent here, and I'm going to start a family farm. Sailing is going to get put on the back burners for the time being. I know a lot of my subscribers are going to leave as a result of that, and that's fine. I understand. Uh, but that's going to be what I'm going to do. I'm going to be homesteading and buying land. I'm going to take you through the process of looking for a proper piece of property for that. A proper piece of property. Like rubber baby buggy bumpers. Anyhow, I'm going to try to find the right property. We're going to fix up the property and start a farm, add all the critters, build it up, and just have a ball with it. And be able to have my grandkids around and teach them about animal husbandry and teach them about farming and teach them about construction and how to build things and have them build and develop those skills uh, that I think you know every man should have. So I think every man should have the ability to build his own house. If you can't build your own house, then you should learn how to build your own house. It is the single largest investment you're going to make in your lifetime. So, so that's our plan. We're going to start back up a new farm. It's going to be very interesting for a lot of folks, especially people in the homesteading genre. You'll be able to see my perspective about what to look for in buying the land. And then starting from square one, building everything up from there, what animals we'll be adding, why we'll be adding them, um, should be interesting. Now, that's a little history, a little introduction about what we're going. Some exciting news that kind of precipitated this is I've been, uh, one of my videos was nominated as one of the top 10 uh, funny homesteading videos on YouTube, which I think is, uh, is a hell of an honor and I'm really pleased to, to be receiving that. And I look forward to uh, having a bunch of new people visit my channel and uh, watch the videos that we're going to be making going forward. I have a little bit of a warped sense of humor, as you guys know, that have been watching my channel for a while. Um, obviously, that's what I put in that Skeet cooking video, which is the video that's gotten in the top ten. I think she, I think he said it's going to be number three, so pretty high in the top ten, actually. But uh, I feel it's a real big honor. So. That uh, is going to be coming out here in the next day or two, so hopefully I'll see a big jump in new subscribers, and I'll be welcoming those people here to Grandpa's Farm. Follow along as we build a new farm and have some fun with it. So it's going to be just me and Lily on the farm. Lily, get up here. Uh, Miss Lily, she's sleeping here next to me. See? Say hello to the camera. See? There's the camera. Say hello to the camera. Right here. Right here. Right here. Right here. Uh, she has been so bad lately. She really has been so bad. Twice now, she's opened the gate and let herself out of the yard. Oh, now you want to get in the camera, huh? Okay, don't knock me over. Twice now, she's opened the gate and gotten out of the yard. A block and a half over here, there's a, uh, another a house with some young kids, some teenage kids in it. And apparently, she's met these kids and is friends with them now. So she gets out of the gate and runs over to their house and visits with the kids. Twice now. And, of course, they get, you know, from her collar and a rabies shot, they contact my veterinarian up in Alaska, and that veterinarian then sends me a text saying, hey, this is where your dog is at. Well, of course, the second time I had the fortitude of going look at where she was the first time, and sure enough, that's where she was. She was over there visiting with them. So she's been a very bad dog <laughs> lately, but we're, oh, Lily, we're having fun with it. Arr! Gotcha. But we're having fun with it. Anyhow, Miss Lily and I will be having more fun starting a whole new farm here in Alaska, or in Ohio, and I hope you guys will follow in and enjoy it. So take care and take really good care of everybody else you know too, okay? Because life is short and we got to take care of everybody. So Grandpa, <laughs> Grandpa and Lily signed it off. We'll talk to you kids more later. Bye.